Hey everybody, back with another video. Definitely one I was not planning on filming, but I started tearing this Dell Optiplex GX1 down so that I could um, actually put in a graphics card that I wanted to test. And I have it plugged in and it's not powering on anymore. I haven't powered it on in a while, but it's been left plugged in. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. It's old, obviously. So Dell, this is 19, like 98. Eight, I don't know, it says uh, Windows 98. I think it's around that time frame. I'm not exactly sure when this thing came out. Um, it has a Pentium 2 processor in it, but let's take it apart, troubleshoot the power supply, and then I'll share some of the things. Hopefully we'll get it working and I'll share some of the things I'm learning. All right, let's get this thing taken apart. There's two little indentations here. You gotta pull it forward, the case, and then take that off. We got the inside of the cabinet or of the case. This is a mid-size case is what they call it. The Dell GX1 mid-size case because it has two bays here for the five and a quarter inch, I guess, or something like that. That is a CD-ROM. There's your floppy three and a half, I think, floppy. And you have your power supply. Now to undo the power supply, I'll move this up just a little bit. There's a little release here. These Dells were made really, really nice and modular as far as like taking stuff apart. So that pivots the power supply out and that'll give us access to actually unplug the disk drive, the uh, hard drive, and the CD-ROM. See if you guys can see that right there is the CD-ROM. Take that out. Hard drive is down here. Can't really see it. There we go. And now the other thing that's interesting, let's see if I can get some light on there. This power supply is not a standard ATX power supply. So you gotta get the 20 pin connector out. If you can see that, there's a little tab right there. And then the six pin connector out. Now this six pin connector on this Dell power supply, which is, I'll show you in a second, is a PS5210, no, PS5201-5D. This six pin connector is three volts in ground. And this 20 pin connector is not a standard ATX connector. The power supply to turn it on is this gray, whereas normally it's kind of in here on an ATX. And there's five volts on multiple parts of the board. Um, so you definitely cannot plug in and do not plug in an ATX power supply into one of these Dell Optiplex GX1s. So let me go ahead and take this off. Then you can see the there's the power supply specs. It does have an output for negative five volts, but that is not used. So we're not worried about that. And I will get this out of the way and we'll come back and see if we can test this power supply. All right, one thing you can do is measure the power on to ground. And it should be five volts. And it is 4.9. Now we can hook up, it, you do need a load to power these on, but usually on if you just um, jumper that to ground, we should like hear the power supply click on for a split second. But just to verify, I can hook up a power load on this thing if I can find my my tester there's my little tester and let's see we'll do um, probably right here I guess 
will connect to 5 volts. I mean 5 volts. We'll connect a negative to something like right there. And then I'll grab a, another jumper. So that's a, a 5 ohm resistor we'll use for the 12 volt line. And then we'll use a 3 ohm resistor for the 5 volt line. And then we'll use our little jumper. See the, the red right there? There we go. And just put in our little jumper here in pin one because and just touch any ground and the power supply should come on and it is not coming on so I think there's definitely something wrong with this power supply unfortunately so we need to figure out how can we replace this power supply with a normal ATX and basically the best way I can think of is to get a pin extractor and um, you know, grab, let me unplug this thing, grab a normal ATX power supply, I'm going to use this one here that I pulled from some computer, PS5251, probably was an Adele as well or something, but this is an ATX connector, and you can see the difference here, the power on connector is this green wire on ATX, and the three volts is sitting here on on these pins I think it's pin mm, 10 or, or something like that these orange lines so I'm gonna have to unplug these and then repin it out to match this and take these three three volt lines and splice in with this connector here I'll probably cut off this connector take the three volt lines of this splice them in here because I don't have those pins um, and basically make a connector and then therefore replace this power supply with the ATX power supply alright I actually have the power supplies mostly swapped over and it is pretty straightforward I got um, I got some of these let me take it out of the case, I guess. JR Reedy, Ready, JR Ready, chip re um, pin re extractors um, for ATX. I can't remember exactly. I'll probably link to it or something. But you just, this is the new power supply, but for an old one, just to take out something, let's say. Just stick it in here on both sides of this pin, like so, hopefully. And then you just kind of push it in there and get it out somehow. But anyway, I'm not going to actually screw with it, but it took, it's not that hard. <clears throat> and then I labeled it, and you just have, from my ATX power supply standpoint, there's just a few things I got to cover here. So um, there is this brown wire on the Dell. There's a brown wire here on pin um, 19, I think, which is like some fan speed control, fan, power supply fan control. That is not in the ATX standard, so it doesn't exist. Um, red is 5 volts. White is negative 5 on the Dell, and there is no negative 5 on this power supply, but I don't believe it's used on the, on the motherboard anyway. And then black is ground, obviously. On the ATX, green is the equivalent of the power supply on um, switch, and then you switch them around. Hopefully this comes out okay because I'm not looking through the camera. 5 volts, ground, 5 volts, ground. Then you have power supply okay, which is gray on ATX, and it's orange on Dell. And then purple is your lower rated 5 volt 
line, then plus 12, minus 12, plus 12, minus 12, and then two ground. So no three volts. So I removed the three volts from the ATX power supply. And I'm going to use the, the four pin connector of the ATX power supply, which is not used on the Dell. And I'm just basically going to cut it off right here and then cut off this connector, this six pin connector, which is blue and black on the Dell splice it shrink wrap it and have that connector like that with the three volts the yellow 12 volts obviously i don't need but i'll just like cut it off and and wire tie it um, maybe shrink wrap it too so let me um do that off camera because it's a pain in the butt to film all that so all i'm going to do is again cut this off these the 3.3 volts is what as well as the um negative and cut off this connector splice it in and i should have a working computer we'll see i'll probably test it first too all right i have the power supply wired up in there i know you can't see it but see if i can get this whatever i have the power supply in. i didn't even test it figured i would just hook it up because i did double check my work a few times and let's press our power button here and we have power and I hear stuff going. I just saw Dell Optiplex. Haven't powered this on in a while. It says alert cover previously removed. Actually, it's still removed. I don't know. Does that stop the BIOS? I can't remember. <laughs> Looks like I think it's doing something. <clears throat> There's the alert cover switch right there. Invalid configuration information, run F1 key to continue, F2 to run setup. Yeah, I have to set the BIOS back up because I had removed the battery. Um, let me do that and see if we can boot this thing up. I haven't booted it up in forever. I got it booting, but I don't know if I have my hard drive set up, my boot order and all that stuff set up correctly, but it does seem like it's booting, so success power supply it wasn't meant to be a long video i'm going to screw with it a little bit i've never recapped the motherboard probably should um i don't know but i was just happy to be able to get a power supply working getting an atx converting an atx power supply um to be worked to be the dell pinout for the optiplex gx1 and i definitely recommend reviewing what that uh, pinout is dell has their documentation still still on there oh my gosh it's been so long since i've logged into windows 98 but um dell does have that documentation on there so if you pay attention to the pinout cross-reference it um it's not a perfect um solution per se but um, i think it's good enough because it's working probably need some more five volt lines honestly because these motherboards probably used a lot more 5 volt amperage than than the others but uh, the new ATX's with 3.3 volts but that's alright I think we'll be fine that's it cheers